Bass is an incredible animal and during his time in service he has made an impact on so many uh, different people and service members and truly changed the outcome of my life as well as the service members that he, he served with. My name is Alex Schnell. I was a multi-purpose canine handler for the Marine Corps Special Operations Command from 2014 to 2019. During that time, myself and my multi-purpose canine bass served three overseas deployments while attached with Marine Special Operations teams. Bass is a Belgian Malinois. He is over 10 years old now. And as a multi-purpose canine, he has three main disciplines that he was trained to do. They are trained for that explosive detection, the ability to track a person's path, and then the apprehension or bite capability. My name is Chris Willingham. I'm a retired uh, Marine Corps Master Sergeant. And my last uh, duty station, I served as the Marine Corps Special Operations Command Multi-Purpose K-9 Program Manager. It all starts with selecting the right dogs. Once we select them, the handler is paired up with them immediately. Now you start to get into more of your advanced training after that. Now we're going to start up and into a level to make sure they're going to be ready for you know the combat environment. That's where you're going to see if the dog really has what it takes. I'm just truly grateful that he has brought me to this point and now I can shed some light on the service that he did for us. On 20 May 2019, Bass's skills were put to the test and he was able to help save some lives and make a huge impact on the battlefield. While on deployment in Afghanistan, the U.S. Marines Special Operation Team, accompanied by a multi-purpose canine bass, conducted a nighttime airborne raid to target a Taliban bomb maker in Helmand Province. As the team approached the target structure, hidden Taliban fighters unleashed a barrage of small arms fire and detonated an improvised explosive device, IED. Sadly, this initial enemy contact killed two Afghan partners that were working as part of the MARSOC team and suggested the presence of additional IEDs. We started searching off to our right. There was a roadway around a couple of buildings and that was going to be our secondary kind of uh, rally point. Bass and I were able to locate another IED alongside one of the roadways. We come around the corner after finding the first device. All those red flags that you learn about in training start going off. It's an abandoned building. There's stacks of rocks everywhere. And so that is where your training really kicks in and you have to rely on the skills of your dog in that moment. You're trying to, at that point, like preserve the life of everyone else in the unit. We ended up clearing the building. We found two more external IEDs external to the building. So we were able to move the unit into that structure, start treating our casualties, and coming up with a new game plan to eventually accomplish the mission. We were all relying on Bass in that moment. And so trusting his abilities, trusting the training that we had did, Bass's actions kind of speak for themselves as to the safety of our entire team that evening. They never stop pushing each other to get better, to get that next level. And I honestly believe that's what helped save Alex's life on our deployment. That's what helped Bass perform uh, on some of the worst missions they could ask for. It always amazes me how when I look back on it, like how resilient Bass was during those moments. Multi-purpose canine Bass conducted over 350 explosive sweeps and conducted 46 missions to capture high value targets during his years of service. My name is Jan McLaughlin and I'm the Director General of PDSA. PDSA was founded by Maria Dickin more than 105 years ago. In 1943, during World War II, Maria introduced the PDSA Dickin Medal to raise the status of animals in society. The medal honours the outstanding acts of bravery and devotion to duty shown by animals in military theatre. 
Bass's exceptional talent and skill made him a vital member of the US Marine Special Operation Command Team, and he performed his duties to an impeccable standard. His gallantry and devotion to duty, whilst deployed on the 20th of May 2019, undoubtedly saved many lives, and his actions warrant our most prestigious medal. It is with great pride that I award Bass the PDSA Dickin Medal, making him the 75th recipient of this incredible accolade for his life-saving devotion to duty while serving in military conflict. I couldn't be more proud of Alex and Bass and, and everything they've done for uh, the canine community, the multi-purpose canine community, uh, and MARSOC in general. It is an honor to be able to accept the PDSA Dickin Medal on Bass's behalf. He is a very deserving animal of this award. His devotion to his duty, the acts of service that he had to go through, the resiliency that he showed in those uh, very intense moments is just a true testament to the kind of animal that he is. Mm -hmm.